we are getting to one of the trickier bits of running in the cloud, which is how do you connect inside of your servers to perform some maintenance or action. So for this, for Linux servers, we can use SSH to do a secure shell into our servers. So based on the operating system you have on your computer, you have different ways of achieving it. So I've separated Mac, Linux, Windows before version 10 and Windows after uh, version 10. So the SSH is a command line interface utility that can be used on Mac or Linux, as well as Windows over version 10. Then if you have Windows less than version 10, you can use something called PuTTY. PuTTY will achieve the exact same thing as SSH. So when I say you should SSH, if you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY. And PuTTY is valid for any version of Windows. They do the exact same thing. They allow you to use the SSH protocol to connect into your EC2 instances. And then finally, there is something new called the EC2 Instance Connect, which is going to use your web browser, so not a terminal, not PuTTY, your web browser to connect to your EC2 instance. And I like it a lot because it is valid for Mac, Linux, Windows, all versions, okay? The cool thing about EC2 Instance Connect is that it works, but it only works for now with Amazon Linux 2. And this is why I've been using Amazon Linux 2 in this tutorial. So now what should you do? If you are on Mac or on Linux, then please watch the SSH lecture on Mac Linux. If you're on Windows, then you can either watch the PuTTY lecture, or if you have Windows 10, then I have created an SSH on Windows 10 lecture as well. Regardless, I am going to personally use in the future lectures EC2 Instance Connect. So if you want to have a look and play with it, I find it really simple. You don't need to install anything or use the command line interface if you're not familiar with it. So this could be very handy for all of you. Nonetheless, SSH is, in my experience, and I've taught hundreds of thousands of students, what caused the most troubles in this course. So if you get a problem with SSH, you can rewatch the lecture. You may have missed something, maybe a security group rule, maybe a command, maybe a typo, I don't know. You, there's also a troubleshooting guide that I've put together after these lectures, so have a look. I would recommend to try EC2 Instance Connect as well. It sometimes fixes all problems. And if none of these methods works, so sorry, if one method works, then you're good to go, okay? You don't need to have them all working. If one works, you're good to go. And if no method works, that's completely okay. This course is just introductory and it won't use SSH much and you'll be fine, okay? So that's it just for the introduction. Now find your right lecture and I will see you in the next lecture.